Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ali and in this video we're going to be talking about data enriching in Elasticsearch. If you're looking to add more insights to your data and make your search experience and analysis even better, you are in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to configure data enriching in Elasticsearch. I will walk you through this the process step by step and you will be able to implement this on your own projects. And before we start, if you're new here, check out my other videos on Elasticsearch tutorials and consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials in the future. Now, data enriching is all about adding context and more information to your existing data, making it more valuable and relevant. Whether you're talking about customer records, um, product catalogs, uh, usernames, uh, postal codes based on user coordinates, for example, right here. Um, whether you want to add user names and user titles and emails from Active Directory to your index, enriching your data will provide you a deeper understanding of your data. To enrich your data, there are four important steps. I will explain them on the whiteboard and then we'll jump right into the configuration. The first step is to create an enriching policy. In the enriching policy, we are going to specify the source index. And the source index could be anything ingested via uh, beats, for example, file beat, or it could be from Logstash. And it contains all the data that you need to add to your incoming documents. You will also specify the match field. This is the field that will match the incoming documents. For example, right here, I'm interested in matching the IP field. So in my incoming documents, if there's an IP field that contains this value, for example, I'm going to add the username and the device name to the incoming documents. And the enrich fields are the fields that you want to enrich. For example, here, the username and the device. The second step is to create an enriching index. The enriching index is a read-only index and it's only meant to be used um, with the ingest pipeline, with the, ingest, with the enrich processor. And when you execute an API request to create this um, enrich index, it will create an index that starts with a dot enrich dash the policy name. The third step is to create an ingest pipeline, or if you have an ingest pipeline that will transform your data however you like before indexing, uh, you can add an enrich processor to that ingest pipeline. And the enrich processor will specify the policy name. This is the enriching policy name that you create in the first step. The field, this field is from the incoming documents that will match the field in the source index. And then the target field is where you want to have those enriched data uh, added to. This will be a new field and the enriched data will be nested under this target field. And the last step is to use the ingest pipeline. It could be done with an API request, or you can edit the Logstash configuration file, uh, in the, specifically in the Elasticsearch output section. In this example, I'm ingesting 40 gates logs using Logstash, and then I'm going to be adding data from my source index so that they are enriched before indexing them into Elasticsearch. The first thing I want to show you is my 40 gate firewall logs. They're coming in here to uh, Elasticsearch and I'm looking at them in Kibana. If I open one of the documents or one of the logs, I don't have any field that starts with a user. I'm going to be enriching my documents with a username and a user device. So I don't have that field or if I look in the list of fields, I don't have anything here. So I'm going to start at the dev tools. Uh, I'll open the console and it's under management. And I have the steps here. And the first thing is I want to show you is the source index. The source index is something I just created manually for this tutorial. And I got this information from my wireless network. So for every IP I'm adding, or for those four IPs, I'm um, adding a username and a device name. This is another IP, and a third and a fourth. 
and I'm going to be starting with setting up an enriching policy. I'll use the put API enrich policy. I'll give it a name, firewall enriching policy. I'm gonna open a curly bracket, I'm gonna say match, and it will auto populate with these fields. So the indices is the source index that you want to use. It could be more than one index. In my case, it is this index, user data. Match field is the field that will match the incoming documents. This is the field I'm going to be using, the IP. I'll simply put IP here. And then the enrich fields are username and device name. These are the fields I want to be adding. I'll execute it by pressing the play button here to send the request, acknowledge true. The second step is to create an enrich index. And all I have to do is run this API request, enrich policy, specify the policy name with execute. And what this will do is create an enrich index. And you can check that enrich index. And you can search the documents. It will basically contain all the data that you are going to enrich. The third step is to create an ingest pipeline with an enrich processor. Ingest pipeline, and I'll call it firewall ingest pipeline. Processors, and my first processor will be the enrich processor. Okay, I typed it wrong, enrich, and it will tell me to specify the policy name, which is right here. The field, this field is from my incoming documents. So right here on my firewall documents, I have a field called source IP, SRC IP. I'm gonna add that here. And the target field, I'm going to put them under user. So the, the enriched fields will be called user.username and user.deviceName. Now you can add more processors. I'm going to add the rename processor just to make the user.username uh, user dot name simply user dot username that'll be user dot name I'm gonna execute that acknowledged true and just a note here before we start before we apply the the pipeline or use it in our index and start having those new fields username and user device name and user IP we need to edit the index mapping because if they are added without any mapping Elasticsearch sometimes does not know how to or what type of field it will give them so I'm going to open index management under index templates I'll look for the index mapping that I have for my firewall I'll edit that I'll go to mappings and there is a field called user and it already has username it's a keyword but I'm going to be adding um, IP and it's an IP address and another one 
that'll be device underscore name and I'll make that a keyword. So now I, I added the user.ip and user.device name. I'm going to be saving this template. I'll go back here. And the last thing is to use the pipeline in our index. I can run this API request. So firewall, I'll add it to all of my indexes. And I'll say update by query. I'll select or specify the pipeline equal and this is my ingest pipeline right here. This will take sometimes a few minutes depending on how big your index is. Pipeline equal. And I will check my documents if they have username, user IP, and user device name. And there you go. I have the user IP, username, and user device name. Now, not every field here I have is going to have this information because I only did that for specific IP addresses. For example, this is one of them. If I search on that one, or 192.168.17.102, I think. There's 107, 104, 103. And it will take some time to run through all of these documents and all the indexes to update to update the documents and add those fields but they are added to the index i can see them here i can search those fields another way is to edit your log stash configuration file go to the bottom and add this setting pipeline and put the name of the pipeline that you created in the log stash um, configuration file but with that you'll have to stop log stash and restart it make sure this is done in a maintenance window or or in a lab environment and development cluster. I'll add the other IPs so that they show up here. Four or seven. So I'm filtering on those four IPs that are in my source index and they just started showing up. These are the only four IPs or three IPs right now that are showing in the last 15 minutes. And you can see my documents are now enriched with those new fields. User device name, user IP, and user name. In this tutorial, we set up data enriching in Elasticsearch to make the data more relevant and more valuable than ever. And with such a process, you have to open the documentation to look at all the details, but hopefully with this tutorial, you're able to set up data enriching with the four steps that I showed you. And if you find this valuable, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.